Dozens of police descending on the Glasgow home of the former Scottish leader. The house surrounded by blue police tape with officers standing guard. A large forensics tent normally used only in major investigations out front. Scotland's police saying the search is connected to the arrest of a 58-year-old man, a suspect in their probe of Scottish National Party finances. Police saying the man was questioned and hours later released without charge. British media identifying him as Sturgeon's husband, Peter Murrell. The husband of Nicola Sturgeon, who of course has just departed as First Minister. Uh, Mr Murrell uh, was the chief executive of the Scottish National Party, uh, the boss essentially behind the scenes. Uh, there he is with Nicola Sturgeon and a huge figure uh, behind the scenes in Scottish politics. Murrell was forced to step down last month after more than 20 years years as the party's chief executive. He took responsibility for misleading the media about declining party membership numbers. Sturgeon suddenly announced she was stepping down in February. This decision comes from a deeper and longer term assessment. I know it might seem sudden, but I have been wrestling with it, albeit with oscillating levels of intensity for some weeks. She quit amid a number of political setbacks, but never mentioned the police probe as a reason. Questions are now being raised about how much she knew about the investigation. Words will never adequately convey the gratitude and the awe I hold in my heart for the opportunity I have had to serve as your First Minister. It truly has been the privilege of my lifetime. For almost a year and a half, Scottish police have been investigating how more than £600,000, or just over one million Canadian dollars, were spent in recent years by the SNP. The money was raised for a Scottish independence campaign, but there was no independence referendum. So where did the money go? Police also searched the SNP headquarters, taking boxes with them. Sturgeon's replacement calling the day's developments challenging. Of course, my reaction, as you'd imagine, uh, much like uh, anybody involved in, in the SNP, is that this is a difficult day uh, for the party. But again, I just reiterate and emphasise it's so important for me not to comment on a live police investigation. 